Greetings, commanders and or captains, this is Megan Ward, and today I would like to showcase one of the important ships in sci-fi that is definitely not the Enterprise. So what didn't they go for? The name I suggested. For the ship? Yeah. Yeah. Sir, we can't call it the Enterprise. Why not? So please do some YouTube stuff, and we're gonna dive in to take a look at the Daedalus from Stargate. Now, the Daedalus has a very rugged appearance. It has a very square body on top. It is the first Tori or humans attempt at a long distance ship. So, it is very practical looking. And this is what it looks like in Starfield. As usual, we do have to make a wee bit of a compromise. Of course, this the Daedalus is a huge warship, and uh, in theory, its cockpit or uh, command station is on top, something like this. But in Starfield, that is not practical to put your cockpit on top. You have to go through all the ladders to get up. So a little compromise was to make a Viking cockpit in the front, which would make it easier. Because I'll, as always, I like to make my designs practical in the game and not just aesthetics. With this cockpit, you will have access in a straight line to all your habitats and just one ladder to the landing gear. So it is, it's going to be more useful this way inside the game. Very well, now let's take a look at her. I'm going to pull her apart and let's see how we made that happen. So there she is pulled apart. Now, the main hub of your ship will consist of a 7x1 habitat, like this. Now, you can mix and match the habitats of your choice, but my personal preference is to have the infirmary and the workshop next to each other, because those are your two main crafting stations. Now, for this build, I use mostly a Nova Galactic team, but of course, an habitat from a different manufacturer will work as well. All of these parts, really, are available at your settlement's shipyard. The only ones that are not will be the big 3x3 three three top. Now, to uh, continue the Nova Galactic team, I went with a 3x3 three three by Nova Galactic, but insert whichever manufacturer you want. That's gonna work out as well. All right, so let's start the assembly. Now, we're gonna start by the with the landing gear, which will be a Demos 120LD as well as a 300 CB landing gear by Demos as well. This assembly is going to go right here, this 3x1 assembly. And it's going to give us access from the back directly into the main hub of the ship. After that, we're going to add our cockpit in front, which will consist of a Viking CP110 with a little Demos calling for. This is just structural or a static, if you wish. And it's gonna snap in the front here. To be able to complete the hub here, we're gonna put a Hope Tech 5 landing gear in front, so that this whole assembly has enough landing gear to land. Now, before we move on to more important bits, let's add some static. Now, the Daedalus has two little stubby wings in the front, and we're going to do that with Demos D wings. These are just the same one flipped over. We're going to do that on both sides right there. It's going to give us the little stubby wing in front. Ned, next, we're going to add some Ro Nova Radiator top to go right here. After that, we're going to add some Teo side cap B, four of them. This is the same piece that is simply flipped over. It's gonna go right here on the side. And let's not forget some porthole so that you can look out of your own ship while in space. Important bits. Porthole on both sides. Then we're going to add a little spine C from Demos as well. 
that is going to go right on top here. This will be the aesthetic parts that we will be putting on the main hub assembly. It starts already to give it a little bit of a look. Now before we go to more important bits, we're gonna add the engine assembly. Now the Daedalus typically has two big engine on the bottom here, an additional one in the wings, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So for the boat side here, for the big engine, I've chosen some Nova 1050 engine. It's gonna give us the big chunky look. To complete the assembly, it's gonna be copy paste on both sides, so we're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna have Nova 1050 engine. We're gonna have an Accu Lander 11 from Strout Eklon. And then we're gonna add our graph drive on this side and our reactor on the other. This graph drive will be a class C, capable of 45 jump thrust. It's a big one. To complete the look in the front is going to be three aesthetic pieces, which will be Hope Tech Bumper A, as well as more Hope Tech Nose A. These three pieces are just aesthetic to give it the square look of the ship that we're looking for. So we're going to pick up this assembly here and just snap it right there. So the other side is a copy paste, same landing gear, same engine. This time just with the uh, this reactor here, which is a power generated 37. It's another class C, it's an expensive one, but we're not building cheap ships here. So let's take the whole assembly. The uh, aesthetic pieces are the same and it's going to snap right here. So now we're starting to have the look. Now, I will be adding some Ulysses fuel tank in this little hole here. However, they will be snapping to the bottom of this square piece, so I cannot put them right now. These engine assemblies do not have top, top or bottom snap pieces. So before we cover the whole thing with the square, we're going to move on to the wings. Now. The wing assembly is going to be mostly aesthetics and structural. The only two important piece will be the engineer, which is a 4330. This is just a class A one, but it does give us the big, uh, the smaller, pardon me, wing engine of the Daedalus, and it works really well. The other part that's going to be important will be some cargo hold. A thousand cargo hold, 30th by hauler cargo hold. Now the rest of the wing assembly is just structural and aesthetic. Let me walk you through how I did it. In the front, to represent like the square entry where the fighter will go out of, would be some Stroud braking engine. The rest of the assembly here will be a Demos hull A, then a Demos belly aft. On top of it will be Hope Cap A, aft and four. And in front will be a Hope Deck Pipe four. These are all just aesthetics, really. On top here is mo more Demos Hull. As well as the same caps that we used here in front. The Teo Cap B. So the entire wing is really uh, structural or aesthetic, except the wing engine and the cargo hold. And it's gonna snap right here. So the other side is the exact same thing. Same cargo hold, same engine, and the rest is aesthetic or structural pieces. All of it will snap to the landing gear. So now we have the interior of where the big square will sit on. So let's move on to set the square. Now, the Daedalus has a big top here, so we're doing it by a, with a Nova Galactic 3x3. To add to the call of this big assembly, it's going to be some Demos Wing. 
It's going to be D, aft, and front, just flipped. And in the middle is going to be demo swing C. And the front will be Nova Optech No Nose A again. Same type of nose to keep the consistency going. Now on top of here is going to be our docker. We're going to do a slim docker by Demos, the 10 DP. A bit more aesthetics with a ra radiator. We're going to put the shield right here in the form of a, a uh, Assurance SG3000. That is a big one with 1190 dull shield max health. And we're going to put a little Demos Spine A4, which will be uh, the little stubby wing where the cockpit should be, really. On top of that, there will be three equipment plates. These equipment plate is where we're going to put our missile weapon. Now, I've, I am fa uh, a favorite disruptor a lot in this game, but since this is a Tauri or human ship, we're going to add some missile. I'll pick up the entire square assembly and we're gonna go right on top here now we're starting to look like the Daedalus now as I mentioned earlier this is where we're gonna put our fuel right here in th this hole we'll be able to snap the fuel tank at the bottom of this 3x3 three three piece these are M20 Elysius H3 tanks and they're gonna go right here. There we go. Completely completing the big square look. Now we're gonna add our missile launcher here. This will be three C C E fifty nine missile launcher, and they're gonna fit on the equipment plate that we've added on top. There we go. The Daedalus typically has a few doodads on top of the square head right here, so I added the missile, it works. Now we're gonna put a lot of weapons on that ship just because we can. We're gonna add some auto gauss gun. This is to fit the profile of the Stargate show, where this ship engages, there's a lot of ballistic flying, so let's put some auto, some auto gauss gun on top right here these of course need weapon mounts like these to be able to fit to the side of your habitats and in front well I do need some beam weapons some disruptor because I like them. and they're gonna go on the side right here so there you go there guys this is the Daedalus definitely not the Enterprise now let's visit the interior a bit, then let's take her for a spin. Now let's take a look at it from the interior. This is our Viking cockpit. Pretty roomy. As we go back, we do have one ladder to go through. And then we can access all of our crafting stations at once. As soon as we get up here, there we go. Up here will be our crafting station. We're gonna have our pharmaceutical lab, research lab, as well as most of our crafting stations right here. Which is very practical. If we continue to explore further, we're gonna have one more ladder, and this is gonna bring us to the big square assembly on top. The big square assembly is mostly a storeroom, so it is a static. But this is what the big square of 3x3 three three on top looks like from the interior. Now last but not least will be where we can access the landing bay, which would be one floor down. If we go down this ladder here, this is the bottom piece where there is um, some uh, engineering bays, as well as the access to the hatch. This is the landing area right here. So, let's take her for a spin and let's see what she can do, shall we? Indeed. OK, 
Okay, what do we have here? Some pirates! Woohoo! Enjoy, buddy! I'm trying to get a missile lock. Otherwise, it's gonna go fairly quickly. Getting a missile lock can be a bit tricky sometimes in the middle of a dogfight, but when you do... Yeah, it's pretty powerful. I often favor Disruptor just to, uh... Not having to bother with several different weapon systems. But when missile do hit, it is pretty strong. So there you go. That's what I wanted to show you about the Daedalus. To some good old fashioned Stargate. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching until the end. Please do some YouTube stuff. And may your space travel be replicator free. Goodbye.